Hey YouTube, my name is Roland and welcome to part two of my spoon carving video. Uh, this is about two weeks later and uh, you can see here with my thumb, uh, it's healed up quite a bit. Uh, didn't hurt anymore putting pressure on it and to do the carving. I ended the last video with uh, a little bit of progress uh, flushing out the handle and uh, a little bit of experimentation with the hook knife. Uh, I'm going to start off with carving the handle. You can see here, since uh, I'm still learning, I decided to get some uh, cut resistant gloves to uh, protect myself. Uh, by the end, I didn't really need them too much anymore. I kind of understood about more how to carve without hurting myself. Uh, but they still, uh, I think, were necessary just to protect my hands a little bit. I noticed pretty quickly that my uh, knife on my carbon jack was getting pretty dull, so I stropped it. Uh, it comes with a uh, awesome little uh, wooden block that you can use to strop the different contours of the blades on it. Although here I'm using the uh, leather back of the wooden block, uh, which is really good for the uh, straight edge knife but also good if you can uh, uh, maneuver the other blades to uh, polish them up on it. I also uh, would double check its uh, effectiveness using the hair on my arm, make sure that it was literally razor sharp. Uh, I also found it really useful to use the back of the saw of my Leatherman to scrape off any of the uh, buildup on the leather strop. Here you can see me cutting down the uh, bowl of the spoon, but I keep getting caught underneath the grain and taking off a little bit more than I intend to. Uh, the problem with going uh, underneath the grain like this, uh, it, it arises from not having a nose on the other end of the spoon. Uh, so I'm holding onto the handle and I wish I'd left an, another one on the tip of this so that I could hold it better while carving it. It was a pretty big struggle to get it oriented the right direction without cutting towards myself. Cutting the handle of it was far easier than uh, dealing with the bowl of the spoon, so I ended up really concentrating on that because I could make a lot of progress. Uh, I think that was pretty acceptable compromise. Get a little bit more practice in carving the handle before I did something a little bit more difficult that I wasn't comfortable with. I ended up carving a little notch at the base of the handle, which uh, really helped to prevent me from going too deeply while cutting towards the end of the spoon. After roughing out the handle a bit more, I decided to switch and uh, carve out the spoon. I decided to start using the hook knife in my left hand and leveraging it uh, against my right thumb, which actually worked pretty well. Still would have preferred to keep it in my other hand. This is uh, from the following weekend. I decided to start off with using the gouge scorp, the 90 degree gouge. And uh, if you go to the manufacturer's website, it shows a guy using it just like this, cutting towards his thumb, but I end up stabbing myself in the thumb doing this. Uh, it's definitely not safe to use on any hardwood or anything that might move around. Uh, maybe once I've a lot more practice, I can stop it properly at my thumb, but I wasn't able to do that. I got right back to it after uh, throwing on a quick band-aid to uh, protect my gloves from any blood. Uh, really wasn't that bad of a cut this time. I uh, put my glove on and got back to work with the uh, hook knife. Uh, this time being very careful and not pulling very hard at all on this. Just choosing the easy, uh, easy tasks.
I switched back to using the uh, hook knife with my left hand and uh, leveraging it against my right hand. That was really difficult for me because I'm right-handed, but uh, I found it to be a lot safer. And a really, a lot of the challenge of making the spoon was learning how to use the tools in a way that wasn't comfortable to me. I had to learn a newer and safer way. It's very dry right there. I don't know if you'll be able to see this. But there's some cracks in the wood. Like pores opened up or something right there. Makes an interesting sound. I found with this uh, wood that I was carving, it was pretty difficult to keep that razor's edge to my tool, so I had to strop often, about every 10 minutes or so. One cool feature of this stropping block is they provide the uh, inverse of every tool, so you can see me here flipping it back and forth on the gouge to get both sides of it stropped and back to that razor's edge. After stropping the gouge, I get back to uh, cutting out the bowl of the spoon, and uh, I am cutting towards my thumb, but I'm pretty comfortable with my gloves uh, to protect myself, and uh, a little bit a little bit more experience. A couple hours will make a surprising difference. After a while I got pretty good at feeling when the blade needed to be stropped. It would feel a little sluggish. Uh, it's actually pretty noticeable. Once I stropped it and double checked its sharpness, it uh, worked, performed much better. I found that holding the spoon in my left hand and uh, pulling away from myself with the with my right hand worked really well at removing large volumes of the wood. So I think the intended kind of purpose of this spoon isn't really so much as an eating spoon. I mean, if you got a big mouth, you could use it. I think it's going to be mostly for mixing simple things, stuff that isn't super deep, not have a huge handle on it. What about the depth of this? Depth of this side, how steep it is. I should say how steep this side is. I hadn't thought of that. Hmm. This is much more flat, this is much more abrupt, but I can fix that. Do not like doing it like this. Look at the glove, it's really not a big deal. I don't think my skin on my thumb can handle that kind of an impact with just such a razor sharp blade. Kitchen knife maybe, this is much sharper than a kitchen knife. Look at this, it's very flat. Should try to round it a bit. Slice that off. And cut kind of into here, I think, a little bit. That's really difficult at that angle. It's all very fat here. Thickness between these two points. I think I like it like that. Keep some strength in the spoon. And I don't think you're ever, ever going to get your face all the way up onto that. That's such a deep spoon. I don't think that spot's too much of a worry. Yeah, these spots really need sandpaper. I'll try to smooth it, but it'll just keep cutting way too deep.
this spot seems to get more protruded than this spot. Try to get it without ruining my handle. Handle's pretty good the way it is. It's looking pretty good. Surprised with how well it turned out actually. So far. Wish I had a nice reliable way to, to take the depth of this, because this seems fatter. I think so. Probably because of how I have to carve it. When do we stop with this and start with the sanding? I guess I could try to start sanding it a bit. I think I'm going to move on to sanding this guy. Alright, I got some coarser 60 grit sandpaper. How this does. Well, the sanding went very easily, so I'm uh, speeding this up for you guys so you don't have to watch the whole thing. It was pretty simple to sand it down, it really smoothed it out. Well, I think overall, pretty happy with it. You know, much better than I expected. Nice and smooth. Just a little bit right there. That's pretty good. Need to oil it or something somehow. Keep it from cracking when it gets wet and dry and wet and dry. Turned out good. All right, well, here is the final spoon. Uh, I'm extremely happy with it, uh, how it turned out. I'm pretty surprised that it turned out as well as it did, being as it's my first attempt with carving a spoon. I tried to carve a spatula before, but it ended up being a terrible spatula, and uh, crooked, and uh, too thick on the end, and it, it was awful. I ended up just throwing it away, but this one, I'm actually very happy with it. I think the biggest difference was using the carving jack, because my First attempt with the spatula, I used a serrated knife with uh, uh, serrations at the base of the knife and a uh, uh, straight edge on the front of the knife. But the serrations caused a huge issue, and uh, the carving jack, of course, is just a straight edge, and that works really, really well. Uh, I soaked this in walnut oil for about three days to waterproof it. I'd like it if I could uh, put it through a dishwasher or something like that. And uh, so I wanted to make sure to waterproof it. And this worked out pretty well. Uh, I only used about a tablespoon of it, just put it in a uh, Ziploc bag and uh, made sure to knead the oil all over the spoon and let it soak. Um, the handle turned out pretty good, uh, pretty straight. I was uh, surprised by that. Uh, one of the things I ended up using was if you look, you can see the grain of the wood, and you can see that there's a couple of chunks in this large area back here uh, that is above this area. So I ended up uh, using the grain really to help me get it straight, and uh, that was really, really useful. Um, the bowl turned out well. You can see a couple of gouges I made with the uh, gouge scorp, uh, and those didn't really come out very well with sanding and uh, especially on the back here when I was carving I would carve this direction with the knife and it would get caught under the grain of the wood and uh, made it pretty difficult to get this right so I just decided to stop where I was and call this good and uh, I'm glad I did uh, sanding cleaned it up a bit one thing that turned out really well was the front of it here uh, the curve back here and then the flatness of the tip ended up creating kind of a, a nice angle for scraping and things and I was pretty happy with that. The uh, part that would touch your the sides of your mouth here is nice and smooth and rounded and uh, even though this is sharp the uh, inside of the bowl turned out really pretty with the lines of 
grain in the wood and uh, the oil really helped shine it up quite a bit. Uh, I'm really happy with this and uh, I think in the future I'm going to try another spatula and probably maybe even something crazy like a ladle. Alright, well thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate your views and uh, please like and subscribe.